Section 3, questions 28 to 40. Animals can tell right from wrong. Now, what do you understand from this title? That animals have the sense to differentiate what is right and what is wrong. wrong. So, animals can tell right from wrong. And there isn't any subtitle, so we are clear that they are going to talk about it. Now, let's go on to questions. Questions 28 to 32. Complete the summary below. In summary completion, they will give you a paragraph. Sometimes there can be two paragraphs and there will be blanks in the paragraph. So you got to complete those blanks. And they've mentioned choose one word only. Summary completion with one word only. Type A or type B. A. All completion. Summary completion, table completion, sentence completion, notes completion. They are type A questions. Okay. So. Complex social behavior in wolf packs. What's the clue word? Wolf packs. So we are going to find out about complex social behavior in wolf packs. Look for the word wolves. Fourth paragraph. So it's a very good idea if you locate the part of the passage that contains the answer. You'll be very comfortable. Okay. After this, we read the questions now. Complex social behavior in wolf packs. Pack of wolf means many wolves together, right? Wolves live in packs. And it a pack means groups, okay? It's not that they have a packing and all that. Wolves live in packs. And it is clear that there are a number of dash. Number of means answer will be Plural. And by the way, for number of, sometimes they use several, various, many, countless, and all that. They, there are number of dash concerning their behavior. Their behavior means wolves' behavior. Now, please come back. It's the fourth paragraph. Wolves live in tight-knit social groups that are regulated by strict rules that are regulated by strict rules. Come back to the question. There are a number of dash concerning their behavior. Rules. Okay. Wolves live in tight-knit social groups that are regulated by strict rules. So strict rules, rules is going to be the answer. Number of rules concerning their behavior. What is the wording for behavior? Yeah, regulated by strict rules. When something is regulated by something, it's all about your behavior. Okay, now please come to question number 29. And by the way, for summary completion, questions and answers are in order. If there is one summary, you are highly likely to find the answers in one paragraph only. All the answers in one paragraph. Let's go on. Some observers believe. What is important point here? For observers, they might use the word researchers. Some observers believe they exhibit. What do they mean by they? Wolves. Wolves Wolf exhibit. For exhibit, they can use the word demonstrate, show, and all that. They exhibit a sense of dash. Come back. Wolves also demonstrate. What is demonstrate? Exhibit. And what is the word after that? Fairness. A sense of fairness will be the answer. Sense of fairness. Now, by the way, this sense of fairness, we call it uh, collocation. Collocation is a group of words that come together. Sense of equality, sense of fairness, sense of justice. We call it collocation. So if you learn collocations, your brain will give you the answer. Sense of fairness. Demonstrate fairness. Exhibit the sense of fairness will be the right answer. Okay? All right. Let's go on. The stronger... More senior wolves seem to adopt the roles of the junior wolves when they are playing together. Okay, now there is a full stop. They act. What do they mean by they? Now listen. The stronger, more senior wolves seem to adopt the roles of the junior wolves when they are playing together. They act as if they are dashed to the juniors. Now seniors act as if they are dashed to the juniors and even permit some gentle something. Please come back. Same paragraph. They pretend to be. They means wolves. Now I'm reading the, from the second, uh, from the uh, third line. 
सेम पैराग्राफ थर्ड लाइन ड्यूरिंग प्ले ड्यूरिंग प्ले डोमिनेंट वोल्स विल अपियर टू एक्सचेंज रोल्स नाउ लिसन डोमिनेंट वोल्स विल एक्सचेंज रोल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल डोमिनेंट वोल्फ मीन्स द स्ट्रॉगर वोल्फ ही विल एक्सचेंज विल बिकम अ चाइल्ड right you know sometimes when uh, a tall person is playing with a child he says okay you are my uncle i am your uh, nephew or whatever so they exchange role with lower ranking wolves they pretend they means wolves i mean which wolves the senior wolves yeah the dominant ones dominant wolves they pretend to be submissive and go so far as to allow biting so they pretend to be submissive they act as pretend and act as they are synonym what will be the answer submissive they act as if they are submissive or they pretend to be submissive now this line they act as if they are and they pretend to be they are similar and answer is submissive to the juniors and even permit some gentle dash let's go on same sentence permit some gentle and go so far as to allow biting by the lower ranking wolves provided it is not so hard it means biting biting is not so hard now when biting is not so hard it's a gentle biting so come back to the juniors and even permit some gentle biting now what is the word for gentle not so hard yeah they pretend to be submissive and go so far as to allow biting by the lower ranking wolves provided it is not too hard it means biting is not too hard when biting is not too hard it's a gentle biting so answer is biting okay question number 32 what is even more surprising is that when one of the juniors gets too forceful it bends down begging for dash it bends down begging for something it bend, bends down begging for dash only when that has been we beg for <laughs> okay same paragraph the third last line astonishingly found it astonishingly if an animal becomes aggressive it will perform a play bow to ask forgiveness before play resumes a play bow to ask forgiveness so what is it exactly it bends down now what is the word for bends down yeah bends down and play bow play bow and bends down that's the same thing begging for and what is the word for begging ask for example i beg for your forgiveness i ask for your forgiveness so beg and ask they are synonyms so have you noticed one thing it's the game of synonyms and these synonyms are ielts specialized synonyms you will not find them so how to practice when you practice the test you need to see okay this is the sentence this is the question for this word they have this word for this word they have this. now for example gentle biting and we use they used another word biting that is not hard so once you practice at least 8 to 10 tests then you'll be clear about it and without this clarity ielts reading will be a nightmare for you okay all right